Hey there guys! Welcome back to my channel, mga kabayo. This is your teacher, Teacher Da, Teacher Daryl Del Mundo. And now, we will have our new topic which is all about the flow of energy. Yung flow ng energy, that's our topic for today. And flow of energy can be considered as the one of the many things how energy is transferred from one to another. In the sense of biology, there are two different things that energy can flow. Number one, we have the food chain. Then the other one, we have the food web. A food chain is a single path of energy. While the food web, on the other hand, has different ways or different networks how energy can be passed through from one to another organism. So these are the examples of food chain. And these are the examples of food web. And we all know that the sun is the main source of energy here on earth. So everything that happens inside the earth all the energy that came from the sun absorbed by the plants and transferred into the animals. But there is what we call in the food chain and in the food web, there is what we call number one, producers, consumers, and decomposers. Producers are the plants because they are the ones who are making their own food. They produce all the foods here on earth. So basically, that is why they are called producers. And consumers are the animals that eat the plant. It can be primary, it can be secondary, it can be tertiary, it can be quaternary consumers. And last, the decomposers. Decomposers are bacteria and fungi that used to decompose or eat the dead matter or decaying matter. Here, is, here are its examples. Let us see. Then, the next one, we have what we call the energy pyramid. So this is the energy pyramid as you can see in the pyramid, at the bottom of the pyramid, it has the largest energy. And then, as we go on to the top, the energy decreases. That is why it is called an energy pyramid. 100% of the energy are in the producer's area. And then, we have the primary consumers, then we have the secondary consumers, and then we have the tertiary, and so on and so forth. Because energy decreases 10% once they are being eaten. Simply because the energy is being used by the organisms. So class, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell below and you can suggest and comment down below and we can talk there okay so class can you give some other examples of food chain and food web you can make your own very good how about can you make your own energy pyramid that's nice and i think that you learned a lot from it See you next time!